la 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 yeah, I'm tired to the party, but I showed the fuck up. Ain't no party like a mocha tira party, cause the mocha tira party don't stop. Ow, what's up, babies? This will be for my Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Leo. I'm sorry I'm late, y'all. I was moving. I finally moved. Okay, so I'm very excited um, about that. If this, y'all, this is just a general reading it's not a personal if you need a personal that information can be found within the description i'm technically on break but i am taking a few readings for um up until like the middle of the month okay up until at least to the 15th i know i said the 7th and i said the 10th it's because my 20 to the party i knew i had to move but i am trying to be fair to everybody all right so currently i have a 15 dollars special off 15 dollars off special for my 15 i'm sorry not $15. $15 off special for my 30 to my 60 minute sessions. That does include emergency reads as well, meaning that it would be a maximum of a two hour wait. So definitely get your, uh, save you some shmani, okay? But get your reading in, alright? Um, you guys, hey boo, hey. For those of you who are new to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if you're new to my channel, look out. I cuss, all right? So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can better assist you without the cussing, all right? Uh, new subscribers, welcome to the family. We a bit dysfunctional over here, all right? We don't fuss and fight. We leave that shit on other people's channel, but we do cuss, all right? We share, we grow, we love, we enlighten, all right? We evolve. Positive shit only over here, all right? So you guys... The energy that I felt with you all, first off, was resistance to change. It changes good, okay? That's why I saved my fixed signs for last because I was trying to get that 111 energy for you guys popping. And so because of that, I did Taurus yesterday. I'm doing um, Leo today on the 12th. And the year of the number three is about expansion for you guys. So anytime, any any damn jump off the cliff that you make, it is going to be in your best favor, right? You may not see the blessings that are taking place now, but things are lining up for you guys to move forward in a more prosperous way, in the way in which you desire, and unfortunately, you can't take the shit that ain't meant to come with you, period, all right? So, with that, to my returning subscribers, hey, family, hey, happy new year. I know y'all like mocha, you ladies shit. I didn't tell you happy, happy new year. It's the first time you're seeing me in the new year. Hey! Okay, um, <laughs> but um, you guys, I pray that you guys get everything with your heart desires. Thank you guys for 2018 for allowing, for those of you who still trucking with me, y'all, family, it's been quite the journey, but damn it, we made it. Do you understand? So just say thank you. Find um, gratitude in everything in which you do in order to attract more into your world. All right, so let's get it. Without further ado, this will be for my Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for the sign of Leo. We're first going to get your angel messages from the Doreen Virtue Oracle. Um, I think it's the angel oracle messages. So don't get me denied. Oh shit. Doreen Virtue Oracle cards, right? This come from Archangels. All right, so what messages do you have for the sign of Leo for the month of January 2019? Allow me to be the channel. Thank you. All right, so Leo's, huh? Prioritize. All right. So during this time. You guys really need to prioritize the things that really matter to you, the things that really is not going to grow you or add to you during this time. Uh, that shit can wait. Put that on the later bucket list, all right? So with that, your message comes from Archangel Metatron. Focus on your highest priorities. I will help you get organized and motivated, all right? So for those of you who are passionate and with Archangel Metatron coming through as a uh, purple, it definitely represents the crown chakra for me. So some of you all definitely may be getting some type of um, revelations, downloads, ancestral messages, especially during your dreams about which way you're supposed to be moving right now, all right? Get your ass up and go. What you waiting for, all right? So let's get it. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars, actually, as well as the Cross Watchers for the month of January? What messages do you have for my Leos? What is it that you're needing them to know, Spirit? Spirit messages. Let's get it. Thank you. What messages do you have <clears throat> for the sign of Leos, for my lines? All right. Yeah, some of you all. 
<laughs> some of you all are taking up, some of you guys are ending cycles, all right? And you're definitely taking a move forward into the midst of your journey, all right? Some of you all are definitely on the journey, on the path of evolution, on the journey of ascension. And a lot of you all, <laughs> there's this need for you guys to be passionate about what it is that you're trying to create. Some of you all may be seeing white rabbits during this time. For some of you all, it may actually be butterflies and they're symbolizing newness okay for some of you all it's fertility the energy of fertility that venus energy is transmitting and it is popping and a lot of people babies is in the air okay so if you're not trying to get pregnant a lot of you all really need to be cautious of how you're moving right now wrap it up strap it up clink clink god damn it you understand you know what the time it is if you ain't trying to have no babies clink clink lock that cootie cat lock the cookies up Lock the cookies up, all right? Um, but for some of you all, you're embarking in a new journey. You're embarking on that journey of ascension, and it is going to be including um, children, rebirth, renewals, all right? Yeah, some of y'all really need to get out of nature as well during this time. For those of you who could have lost, um, I'm seeing a sister, a mother. Um, I feel it could have been two weeks ago, two months ago. I definitely feel like this person is going to be connecting with you through nature, especially if you're seeing white or black butterflies, okay? And I feel like it has to do with your thoughts. It's just this person wants you to know uh, on the other side that they are okay, okay? They are watching over you. And for some of you all, they are added to your family um, of spirit guides as well. Your ancestors looking over you, all right? For some of you all, you really hold the key to your happiness within your own damn hands. It's just how you choose to look at look, look at your situations, look at circumstances that you are kind of dealing with during this time. Some of you all, there's a need to hone your spiritual ability. Some of y'all got a massive ass downloading coming in the month of January. It looks like the third week going into the last week of January, but it's, this download is going to really, really, really push you in the direction in which you need to go if you look at it from a positive aspect, because I feel like in the midst of it, some of y'all going to see some shit that you don't want to see, but I feel like you've been praying for it. You've been asking for things to be revealed for you, people, places, things who are not for you, but you're going to get what the hell you want, all right? For some of you all, it's um it's to assist you in how to move forward, which way that you need, what direction that you need to be moving forward in. For some of you all, you are like workers, um, and I feel that there's this need to not be worried about what other people are going to say, okay? Things are lining up just the way that they are supposed to go. For some of you all, you're really grounding yourself during this time. Some of y'all are really working on your crown chakra and working on uh, being receptive to the things in which you are receiving from spirit during this time. Some of y'all, it's really about finding that harmony from within, especially when it comes to... Um, Balancing out your, ma your your masculine and your feminine aspects of yourself. I definitely feel like there's this need for you guys to be more ambition and use that drive of your masculinity in order to push you forward in the way that in which you, you, you're you desiring to go. Whether that's love, that's career, that's entrepreneurship, that's some type of spiritual involvement. Um, ultimately, it's about what you want, what you desire, and really trusting before you can even trusting within yourself and the things in which you desire before you can actually see it, all right? Manifest in the physical. Find that harmony from within in order for you to actually create, all right? Yeah, because it's going to bring you abundance. Abundance will be, ra will be raining upon my Leos during the month of January. For some of you all, it's how you choose to see abundance. There's this need for you all to be more, what to, to see um, the gratitude and things, all right? What are you grateful for? Go over your 2018 and compare. And honestly, if you compare your 17 to 18, you'll find around the same month you guys were going through things. 17 was about actually recognition. 18 was about laying foundations and balancing things out and removing things that just didn't fit in the, in those different put in those particular puzzle pieces. And 19 was about expansion off of that balance in which you made and in which you put forth, okay, and created within the world. For some of you all, again, you are spiritual teachers. You are embarking on a new life cycle, which includes your life purpose, um, which is also stemming from a past life. A lot of y'all are healers. Some of you all are mediums, okay, and we definitely need you in the light worker community. Be accepting to who you are. Many are called, you were chosen, okay? Yeah, because there's definitely a healing taking place. The Trinity, mind, body, and spirit, all right? Spirit will definitely be all. A lot of you guys are going to be praying more than you have ever prayed in your life. During the month of January, just which way to go, Spirit? How do I need to move? You know, what am I doing wrong? Okay, can this person come? All right, I don't want to make those same mistakes, but don't come from a place of fear. Come from a place of acknowledgement, acceptance, and 
a knowledgeable place, using the things that you've gone through as lessons, all right, in order to walk you through, move you through your blessings from a recogni from a recognition type place, you know, up your ass a snake. I done seen you before with three different damn faces on it. You just coming with a whole new face. <laughs> you won't get me. I spy your wild dog. I found your ass. Your snake ass. Okay. For some of you all, um, some of y'all are really, really, really needing to understand that some of you guys may be also practicing the law of attraction during this time. And if you aren't, you really need to look into it because I definitely feel that I don't know exactly where, where the uh, what your North Node is, but some of you all are really need to get in tune with your North Node energy. Also, in the midst of these moon cycles, some of y'all y'all energy will be very, very, very sensitive. So there's a need for you all to detox, to cleanse, okay, to take your spiritual bath, to put out your positive petitions and wait for them to come back, but not wait in the in, in the midst of sitting still. Wait and move. Wait in momentum, moving. Manifesting is doing. You understand? Some of you all are, um, for those of you who are high priestesses, high priests, I definitely feel that, um, yeah, that's a massive download and, and, and it's something that needs to be outed. It's something that you need to get out. Leo, y'all hold a very, very, very response, a very high regard when it comes to holding esoteric information. Some of you all, most of y'all are dreamers. You see things, most of y'all have like prophetic dreams. And I'm speaking to the people who are, um, my, my papa used to call it, um, seers. The people who are seers, okay? I definitely feel, um, one second. I definitely feel like, yeah, a lot of you all are holding the answers to your solutions. However, there is no movement. And there's this need for you guys to truly get grounded. For you to truly, truly make moves on the things that really matter to you. There's this need for y'all to be trust to trust in yourself, confidence, okay? Death of perspectives. The way that you see things will shift, okay, by the third week of the month, okay? I definitely feel like some of you are different aspects of your life, allowing people to tell you what's right, allowing people to actually um have project their fears on you and have you afraid to be your God given self to walk in your God given right. Y'all putting that shit down, putting people down, places down, moving from anything that's going to affect your energy in a negative way. Anything I can't grow from, got to fucking go. And for some of y'all, it's an actual birth, okay? For some of you all, if this birth is the catalyst to a situation, rather, if you receive an information about a birth, someone within your energy, um, something being, and I'm hearing revelation. So for some of you all, this could be an outside child being revealed to you during this time. And it's only a catalytic situation to make you move forward because spirit needs you to find that balance within yourself and stop depending on another person to validate you. Okay. Or validate how you feel about yourself or how you see yourself. But some of you all love is upon you. It's inevitable during this time. Some of y'all have a telepathic connection to um, a soulmate during this time. And some of y'all are going to be recognizing that and the missus, for some of y'all, could be a twin flame, and I definitely feel like if your twin been lying to you about um, some type of situation where they're conceiving from someone or they have someone pregnant, that's definitely going to be revealed to you during this time. But some of you all, there's depth to a perception, depth to a perception of how um, you view the relationship with your mother for a few of you all. Some of y'all are really going to be bringing some type of harmony or some type of love or some type of mending fences uh, back to a relationship with the mother figure after being reflective and taking your lessons, you know, taking your lessons and using them to move towards your blessings, not from a resentful place, but from a place that is forgiving, from a place that is allowing, and from a place that is that is accepting. Even if it's accepting the fact that people are going to be who the fuck that they are and you can't change that. You can only control how you adjust yourself. How you move within your own right around those people's perspectives and everybody not going to like that shit. And it's not for them to like. It's your life. Don't go with no woulda, coulda, shoulda. Remember I told you that. All right. Some of you all will definitely be um, definitely be trusting the spirit more than you have before ever. All right. So let's check on my la 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 Leos and they shmoney. Okay. For the month of January 2019. So spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful Leos for the month of January for their finances? What messages do you have for my beautiful Leos for the month of January as it pertains to their finances? Cut the cards. Allow me to be the channel. What messages do you have for my Leos? And their finances. 
financial sector. Yeah, some of you all got past life purposes. You are healers, all right? You are nurturers. For those of you, um, for those of you who were who who have some type of new interest uh, towards working in the legal field, spirit is saying that will bring you balance. Okay, that will actually bring your soul fulfillment. For those of you who, um, <clears throat> for those of you who were looking for some type of uh, marriage or some type of a legal situation to be actually be balanced out and to be fair, especially if you were going through a divorce. And I'm speaking of someone who's dealing with assets, um, custody battles and things of that nature. Things will work in your favor here with this justice card in reverse. And I feel like for some of you all, you're really needing that in order to move forward. You're needing that to be closed out. I definitely feel that there will be talk of solutions here that will be fair for everyone involved. Yeah, a lot of y'all really need to stop overthinking shit, okay? A lot of you guys think lack, so you see lack, okay? You believe lack, so therefore you are you're only seeing lack in your life. Some of y'all there is love, love and finances go together. Okay? For some of you all, I'm hearing business collaboration. So for those of you who are going into business, possibly you're thinking about going into business, possibly with a love interest, I do see that being a stable a stable offer and a stable move, okay, especially if this person is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, they could also be Earth, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I definitely feel like there's a fear of being left out or being kind of cut out if that does not flourish, so some of y'all are really overthinking it. What if the shit is successful and everything flourishes? Think about the positive aspect before you just automatically accept the negative in the situation okay so yeah again i am seeing where love and finances go together some of you all may have just left the job or will be leaving a job by the second week of january and i feel like you're moving towards some type of entrepreneurship something that you actually love to do okay for some of you all some of y'all have been kind of in y'all head about a blended family situation and if it will affect your money no it will not move forward no it will not move forward some of y'all have two yeah some of y'all for those of you who just left the job you will be receiving another job offer this possibly already happened the first week of january but if it has not happened and, and you do leave a job the second week of february I'm february january i do feel like before the first week of february you will have another solid offer and it's something that's going to pay you more money and you're going to actually be passionate about doing so yeah those of you who are afraid to leave a marriage, leave a commitment, okay, and actually fulfill your dreams, especially for those of you who have a new lover and love, and this is somebody who could be a business owner and is willing to actually take care of you and help you. It's a catalytic situation, and if you are having sex with this person, I feel the need to say this. If you're having sex with this person and you're doing it behind the damn scenes, what's done in the dark will come to the light. That's that baby situation that I saw. It was a catalytic situation that's going to move you toward the total fulfillment. But I feel like you have to trust within yourself that you can be independent and know that you will. And spirit is going to show up and show out in the month of January to allow you to see who the fuck you are. Put some respect on it, Leo. Okay? For those of you who were... Um, those of you who were kind of in your head about possibly going back, why would you go back to a job? We don't go backwards, we move forwards, but to each his own. I'm seeing someone being uh, considering going back to an occupation. I feel the spirit literally snatched the rug up onto your feet before in that particular occupation because you looked at it as simply a job. It wasn't something that your heart actually wanted to do. When you get your ass up every day and you holler, <sighs> Let me go see these motherfuckers. I don't like the lady who sit in front of me. I don't like Brenda at the motherfucking front because the bitch is rude. Her breath, you can smell it at the door. I don't like the man who get on the elevator at the same time as me if I have to stop and get my damn coffee because he smelled like ass as if his wife and his family didn't smell that shit before he left the house. My supervisor did not say nothing to me till after 10 o'clock because if I ain't had my coffee, I might be cool to come out of a bag on her ass. If you feeling like that going to work every day, it's time to move forward. There will be progression moving forward. Whatever it is that you have been working on, I'm seeing since the month of May for some of you all. For some of you all, since the month of July, this could have even been in the month of your your season, Leo season, all right, or Virgo season. I do see that that is going to flourish, but there is this need for you to be consistency, consistency, stay consistent, move forward, trust the process, trust the process. For every motherfucker who didn't ever been 
uh, who have ever been successful. Some of y'all are afraid of failure, and this is why you won't branch off into your own form of entrepreneurship. But I am seeing a lot of collaborations. I am seeing walking away from things that, that, that no longer serves you or that drains your energy when it comes to how you get your finances because it's the difference between showing up and actually passionately doing something. When you're passionately doing something, the, your authenticity is going to sell regardless. You understand the things that you're authentic about, you don't have to work your ass off to push those things because people buy the truth. People invest in the truth. They always will. We're coming into an expansive time. The age of Aquarius is all about the damn truth. Even if it's the truth about your biography, write it because I'm definitely hearing ebooks. So for some of you all, you're writers and you're meant to write about your experience in order to heal others. Connections, collaborations, okay? But there's definitely movement forward. And I feel like Leo needs to get the fuck off their head, make a damn decision, all right? And for some of you all, it may be leaving a job. It may be going in a period of solitude away from family, friends to pursue your passions. But God damn it, what are they adding to you anyway? Think about it. All right? It's time for Leo to do what they love. Cut off things that don't matter. I can go get another job. But a career. What matters to Leo? Some of you all may also be um, by the third or fourth week of January um, filling out applications to go back to school. I actually see that finalizing for you all in the month of February, and it looks good. All right. So for those of you uh, who are thinking about going back to school to further your education, to move towards a career, a life purpose, your passions, that definitely looks good. Especially if it's any any type of um, artistry, any type of creations. This could be something as simple as making um bracelets chakra bracelets i'm literally hearing um chakra so for some of you all you're healers some of you all are reiki masters for some of you all you have prophetic dreams that can assist others as far as with, with your interpretations on receiving clarity regarding their life purposes regarding their soul paths and y'all sitting on all them jewels stop it 2019 we're not doing that stop it leave what what once was in the woods, in the woods sector of your damn life and move forward to everything that is, everything that is within reach of your being. The word can't, don't, hope, maybe, let that shit die in 2018, all right? So let's get it. Let's talk about love. Let's talk about love. Let time by love, because Leo got new love. I felt that off the rip when I was actually meditating on your energy. Leo got new love. Leo got new love. Leo, Leo got new love. Hey, we're going to manifest in their life if they don't because Leo got new love. They deserve new love. Leo, Leo. I heard renewal. Some of y'all may be renewing um, relationships. Spirit, what messages do you have? Thank you. Shut up with in love for the month of January for my beautiful lines. My beautiful lines. Beautiful Leos. Some on rising Venus, Mars, and cross watchers. Yeah. Some of you all, there is victory in reuniting a family. Your family, especially if you have family with the fire sign, every seal Sagittarius. For those of you who have been waiting on things to be revealed around the next full moon cycle, I believe it's on January the 20th, as well as that new moon cycle when the moon went into direct on went Direct into Pisces, I believe it was on the 8th or the 9th. Some of you all may have had some truths to be revealed, especially if you're dealing with the Pisces person, a Scorpio, or a Virgo. But I feel like these truths allowed you guys to move forward, catalytic situations, in order for you guys to, to pretty much progress in momentum, okay? Movement. It's time to go, all right? For some of you all, some of y'all also could have some type of, um, some form of deception that could involve a Virgo, a Pisces, a Virgo, a Pisces, and a fire sign. And I feel like for, for, for most of you, this definitely, I feel like some of y'all are juggling between two soulmates. One of them, you're really needing to use your discernment in the month of January as far as movement forward. Because I definitely feel like someone is talking a good game. They want the, the house, the car, the kids, and all of this shit. But what you don't know is, is that they pull, they, they, they close the chapter in their damn life. Whomever this is, this could be a Virgo person, this could be a Pisces or a Cancer strongly, or a Scorpio. 
Those four are strongly here, right? Listen up. Somebody closed the chapter, but they left a damn window open just in case it did not work out with you. So if you feel uneasy, I'm talking to you. OK, I definitely feel that some of you all could possibly resist and move, could be resisting moving forward with the fire sign who could have moved away from you in the past due to some form of deception. I feel like you and this other person are kind of resisting one another. So in the month of January, I feel like it's going to continue that way. But I definitely feel like either you or this other fire sign. I feel like it's going to be you, Leo, that actually breaks and be willing to um, hear this other person out. But I definitely feel like somebody is going to tell the truth. They're going to tell a half-assed truth. Like somebody's going to get about 65% of the truth out of a situation in the month of January. All right. Some of you guys are resisting moving forward. All right. And I feel like even things that have been like revealed to you through your dreams, you're really trusting in what the hell another person say. Spirit say, spirit say people lie, not, not God. Not not the spirit realm. They don't have a reason to lie to you, okay? A lot of y'all, there is change coming to a relationship that does involve an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius as well. Either you could be finding out that you're pregnant during this time. Some of y'all could be dreaming about a baby that's not yours. And I feel like if you're connected to an air sign or if you're connected to a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius is. Um, I do feel heavy change coming towards um, a soulmate relationship. This could be positive change, okay, that could work out in your favor. But I definitely feel like some of y'all was looking for some type of, um, this could be an air sign, trying to look into your damn world and figure out what the hell you got going on, all right? But some of y'all are going to be cutting off of someone but not due to an outside child, all right? And I feel like intuitively you are already knowing this. But you're just waiting for spirit to show you. And spirit say no problem. Wait on. But understand that the pain that you're enduring in the midst of waiting and that stuck, that, that feeling of stuck in stagnancy that you're feeling, that's you holding on to that situation. You can wait out then. Why would you wait on something that's already been revealed to you from you, from spirit to you? But you're waiting to see it in the 3D. For some of you all, you have you have a gift where you can see time is an illusion. So some of y'all... There's spirit. There's some of you guys that have a major case of deja vu during this time, especially when it comes to this baby situation. Some of y'all actually may meet a child that you've actually seen before, maybe like a year or two ago in your damn dreams. And this could be connected to a new lover. But I feel like this not and now that's the case. This child was simply confirmation that it was fated for you to meet this person and that this person is a soulmate and there is victory moving forward. If you don't if you don't hold on to the things and the fear of being vulnerable going forward based on what you've been through. OK, for some of you all, you do. Some of y'all could be stalking a water sign. I have a water sign stalking you, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And I feel like it's because this person, you moved away from them. Some of y'all cut off somebody without giving them any clarity, no nothing. You just cut them off and y'all I mean, could have closed them damn doors. And left windows open, but there's definitely going to be some truth and clarity coming to the sign of Leo. This could possibly be uh, from a fire sign regarding the fire sign, or to a fire sign, or an air sign. But for some of y'all, you're telling somebody, Look, I got love for you, but I got to move away. I got to actually go start fresh. I need something new because where I am in my life, I feel that I could be doing better. I feel like I want more. And if you're not going to want to commit with me and give me that more, then your ass can get left because you can't get right. You understand? So, with that, some of you guys or extending love okay from a tourist uh, to a tourist person and i feel like um whomever this is <laughs> this person y'all some of y'all got a rodeo going with the sign of taurus do you understand i feel like this person is in and out of your life this could be someone who you have actually who you're actually reconciling with or kind of coming together with after possibly moving away from someone else but i definitely feel like there's a need to be honest all right to clear that karma leo because for some of y'all if if you were doing the, the way that you do things and the way that you knew to do things really needs to shift during this time because that is causing inner conflict with you as well as conflict to the people around you. And I feel like clear communication. A lot of y'all are really acting like a Scorpio right now. Y'all keep your shit to yourself. If you just want to come in and smash and dash, tell these people, be my friend. I want to smash and dash. All right? Period. Be my damn friend. It's not hard. Honesty, but you can't have your cake and eat it too anymore. It's time to pick a side. What side of the fence are you going to stand on? And this could be you telling someone else this. But for some of you all, you definitely have a younger earth sign. Capricorn, yeah, Capricorn towards Virgo. This person is a soulmate to you. They're coming to make an offer. And some of y'all are really kind of in your damn head about it because of where you've been. You know, for some of y'all, I feel like it could have been, this could be the same sign who you could have walked away from who you could have just separated from and they got that person had a bunch of options so you're projecting you know the other person's bullshit on this new person who didn't commit the crime 
That's not right because if the shoe is on the other foot, you be in your feelings about it. So don't do that during the month of January, okay? But some of y'all, some of y'all who are looking to move, I do see that move being successful. I see that move being successful in the month of February. Congratulations on your new place. Some of y'all are afraid to leave somebody because of this fear of being alone. You're scared to be by yourself, all right? You are going to be, spirit is literally going to push you off that cliff. Catalytic situation coming. So you're going to live unhappy or you're going to live in a place of opposite. Because for some of y'all, you're being released. You're getting a get out of jail free pass, all right? To go and follow your heart, to go and truly, truly chase what really matters to you. Would you do me a favor and cut this light on for me? Dude? I can't see you no more. I disappeared. Sorry, Leos. My son out there on his face. Sound like a damn rooster. Sorry about that, too. I <laughs> But for some of you all, you're very indecisive on possibly making an offer, okay, or starting fresh with an Aries person, all right? I definitely feel like either you or this person is indecisive due to somebody. I feel like there was a power struggle in the past, but both you and this person both feel the same way. This could also be the father of your children or the mother of your, I feel like the father of your children for some of y'all. And this could also be the father of your children or a new person, okay, starting new, starting fresh. And some of y'all are really indecisive, like, which way do I go? You're just sitting here, standing still, looking at this ugly-ass bird. For some of y'all, this could also, and I feel like you're in your head about it, all right? For some of you all, you're going to be working it out with the sign of can I mean, cancer, with Capricorn. For some of y'all, it is a cancer, though. But I definitely feel like some of y'all are definitely releasing yourself from toxic behavior. And it starts, for most of you all, within the mind. Some of y'all have to choose between the Aries and the Capricorn, all right? But I definitely feel like there is someone wanting to put the work in with you, Leo, all right? Some of y'all could also be, um, when I spoke about that business partnership as far as the entrepreneur, like some of y'all, you're going to, your soulmate that you're going to meet, this is someone who you're also destined to go into business with. They share your same views. They share your same passions, your desires, but you would know that because you're so busy worrying about what the hell they might do. Release the fear, trust the process, and stop putting so much expectations on controlling an outcome. Be happy. For those of you who are trying to have a baby, the month of March is going to be real good to you. Congratulations. Especially if you're dealing with Pisces, Libra, Virgo, Taurus, Aries. But I definitely see something being created. Beauty being bestowed onto Leo, but Leo got to be willing to sacrifice that fear, that doubt, that skepticism that they've been moving in and making and charging people, the new people in their life for the past crimes. Truly, truly, truly reflect, heal, be allowing, be accepting, keep your damn eyes open. And if you felt that you felt it for a reason, if you dreamt the spirit was showing you for a reason, say thank you. Trust the process and don't be afraid to move forward because if you do, understand you the motherfucking empress. Newness is coming upon you. Newness is here. That new new is in the building. Okay? But you got to stop juggling the ideas. Juggling the fear, juggling that, juggling people in the vibration of leaving them behind. And then when you fall in love, you wondering why somebody broke your heart. Karma. Karma. That's why they broke your heart. You did it to somebody else. Why you wasn't looking for that return back? If someone did this to you, if you had an earth sign or water sign juggling you in the past, or maybe you had a fire, any sign juggling you in the past. And left you out in the cold, especially chasing some chasing somebody with some more money. Chasing some greener grass, not knowing that that shit is artificial from Home Depot in the motherfucking garden section. Just know, or juggling the idea of leaving somebody behind to progress and do better. Understand caskets don't come with bunk beds. And if you woke up next week. And going forward and chasing your dream wasn't an option. Could you forgive yourself? And would you really look at this person the same way? And would it work in the first place? Because then you hold that resentment towards what it could have. I should have did this and I should have did When you already had the inner knowing of what move you were supposed to make. 
don't be that person. All right. So this is definitely what I have for you guys for the month of January 2019. If you need a personal reading, hit me up. That information is in the description. I will be back fast and furious in the month of February, ready, ready to take charge. And y'all keep um keep an eye out for the 26th of January. Y'all, we finna make a year. So you know we're gonna have a party. <laughs> Everybody, all the all the all the great all the great peoples who understand loving on other peoples know what it's like to come together and have a party. One, well, you ain't gotta bring shit with positive energy, beautiful vibes, and just Come and say hi. I love y'all, family. Much love, much light. May you have everything with your heart desires. Namaste, baby.